Welcome to Mel Bear's Weird and Wonderful. Today I will show you how to make this very creepy Corpse Bride inspired head. I put out at least one new video every week, so please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. So first off, we're going to make a armature for the ornament and I'm using a 20 gauge wire and we're just going to twist it into a kind of like a round shape with a twist on the top and the top of the twist is going to be the top of your ornament where you can hang it and you want to kind of bend it so it's going to be towards the back of her head and then we want to twist the bottom of the wire so you don't have any sharp edges sticking out. We're going to cover them anyways, but while you're working with it, you don't want to poke yourself with the wire. So that should be about the shape we need. Next thing we're going to do is get our tin foil and we're going to cover this wire form with tin foil to make a base for the cotton to go on top of for our doll head. And we want to try to shape this into a proper shape that um, is like a face shape. So we're gonna kind of make it a little bit egg shaped, but then we're gonna put eye and dance into it and everything else. And we're going to just keep covering this with pieces of tin foil until we get the shape that we want. We're going to make some indents for the eyes. Just squeeze this in a bit. We don't want the face to be too protruding here, but we're going to have to make some spot for a nose here. I'm just going to grab the eyes I'm going to use and I'm going to make sure those set in far enough because the ones I'm going to use, I've been saving these for a while, so I'm going to grab them and uh, make sure they're going to fit in here because I may have to make this a little wider. Now I've had these eyes for a few years. They're a glastic eye. I absolutely love them because they look so real, but they're very off color. So I'm going to probably have to poke this, so I'm just going to jam this with my pliers. I'm going to make some holes here, and I may have to alter this head a little bit to make these fit. And these eyes are a little big, and I don't want to look too bug-eyed. Yeah, I'm going to make this a little wider to facilitate these eyes. Pull this apart a little, and then we'll refill it with the tin foil. I'm probably going to poke another hole here, just over a bit. Let's try that again here. So you want to make sure they sink in far enough when you've got these big eyes like this, otherwise they look bug-eyed. Yeah, we're going to have to make this head a little bigger. Here on the back of the head. I'm just going to wrap it with the other foil.
So we've got our foil base done and now we are going to cover this in masking tape. So we're going to tape over all of our foil so our cotton has something to stick to. Again, I got a new tripod, so I need to get a little more used to the angles on this thing. nose part's a little more tricky for me. And I honestly usually spend quite a bit more time on these, but I'm trying to make this tutorials not be like three hours long every time I do one. And there's our finished head, ready for the cotton. And I just want to put these eyes in there again and make sure they still fit. Okay, next we're going to put our cotton onto our head. Okay, and we're going to make up a glue and water mixture. I just kind of eyeball this. You want it to be paintable, but not too liquidy. You just kind of make whatever works for you. Okay, now we've got our cotton ready to go. And we're going to start the painting. Actually, I'm going to put this down here so I don't have to wipe up as much. And I'm just going to start in the front here. And I'm not going to put too much of the cotton into the eye socket because I don't want... I'm going to put eyelids on these when I'm done. Or somewhat of an eyelid anyways. Still not... I'm never 100% sure how I'm going to finish a face until I see it kind of done. And these ornaments are one of my very, very favorite things to do. I find doing this extremely relaxing.
want to make this quite tidy and neat. I don't want a whole bunch of lumps in it. glue coat. I'll get some on the nose here. Cover the nose. And we want to kind of shape the nose a little too while we're, while we're doing this as well. And we're going to shape the mouth a little too. I don't want that to be too thick there because I am going to kind of make some lip shapes as I go here. And I'm going to show, not in this video, but with some of the videos I'm making, different ways to make these ornaments. There's all different ways. This is just one way I like making them. If you really wanted to, you don't have to cover this with cotton. You can cover it with um, paper clay which maybe I'll do a tutorial with that next on how to make a paper clay ornament. And then you're just going to brush a coat of the glue mixture on top of this to make sure it's all properly onto the head and that you didn't miss any spots as well and I think we are going to have to go over this a little bit Okay, so I'm going to let this dry till tomorrow, and we will come back and put another layer on it. Okay, we're back with my head here, which is partially dry, but it's going to need a little bit more on cotton on there, so I'm going to add that right now. We're just going to put a few more coats of the cotton where... Um, we're missing some and I didn't want to try to do this all in one shot yesterday just because it was just I don't want to make it too thick it makes it really hard for it to dry if you put too many layers on at once so anywhere we're missing some I'm just gonna add a little bit brush that down with our glue and water mixture like to make some lips here instead of just having nothing. If I can manage to do a little sculpting here. I don't want it to be too big, of course.
Alrighty, we are going to let this dry again, and we will be back again tomorrow. So we are going to start with a coat of paint onto the doll head, and we're going to start with a light blue. And here's the first coat going on. I do really enjoy making projects for you guys. It's the one highlight of my whole week is doing this. The highlight of my day is coming and talking to you guys and making the projects and hoping you guys like them. I do want to do something with those lips though. <laughs> I think they were a little uh, a little too big to begin with, but that's all right. I think we're gonna add. I don't want this to be one color. I'm gonna give her some blush, some good green blush. Every lady needs a little blush. This one happens to be green. So next we are going to put a little bit of pink onto the lips and just define the lip area. And I've watered down the paint a fair amount just to put a thin layer of pink onto the lips. of my eyes in here and see what they look like but then I'm going to pull them out let it dry because I don't like leaving eyes in there to dry oh yeah there we go <laughs> love it okay so I'm gonna let this dry I will be back maybe tomorrow all right so it's the uh, next day and my lovely girl here is dry and I give myself some Halloween nails, which I will hate to admit are press on because nails and my work don't really work very well. I've been doing this with nails. Not sure I can actually do this with nails. But um, I'm going to glue these eyes in if I can get them out. Um... So we're going to glue these in and then I'm going to put some eyelids on her. So we're just going to put some glue in these eye sockets here. And I am using my favorite glue which is that E6000. If I can not drip glue everywhere. And I should technically be wearing gloves with this, but I'm not really getting it on myself today, so it should be good. And then we're just going to sink these in. Hope I have enough glue on there. Push them as hard as I can into the and there I push that in. There we go. Make sure they look even as I want them. I'm going to have her looking straight, and now I'm going to do some uh, eyelids. And I'm just going to do 
a little bit under the eye here. Okay, and we're going to have to wait until tomorrow, let this dry, then we'll paint it. And then we're going to have to find some hair for this girl as well. Okay, so I did have a little bit of downtime yesterday and I didn't have my tripod, so I did do a little more painting on here, but nothing too serious. I gave her some uh, eyebrows and just put a few more coats of paint on her and I did get rid of my Halloween nails because they were driving me bananas. Um, what I want to do today is give her some hair. Now what I'm going to use for that is just um, this ball. It's more like a, it's like a heavyweight kind of a blanket yarn and all I do is just take it apart. You can use roving as well. I don't have roving in the color I'm looking for, so this is what I'm going to use. And then I'm going to cut it to the length that I want. So what I do is I just kind of decide from the front first. I wanted a fairly long hair, so we're going to go and just take a look at how long we want that to be. That's a little too long. I think about to there. So we're going to cut a whole bunch of strips of hair that are this long and then we're going to glue this on. So I'll just cut a few strips here and then I will do this off camera. This video is gonna be two hours long. I'm gonna cut about, probably about 20 of these, I would think. I'm just gonna use the uh, white glue for, for this. And I'm just gonna put some of it you can squeeze this directly onto the head if you want. I'm going to put this in my little container and just paint it on. I just find it a little easier to get it even. Okay, I'm going to start at the back of the head, about here. And you can draw on where you want to put the hair. I'm not going to bother because I know approximately where I want it. And I'm just going to put nice little strip of glue where I want this to go and I'm going to start with that and all I'm doing is taking the hair just like this and just laying it directly down onto where I put the glue I'm just making sure it's 
And here you have to kind of spread it out a little bit. Otherwise, um, it won't stay on there. You could probably actually use hot glue for this as well. Yeah, I'm just going to spread these out. Just like that. And just, again, just stick them down. And I just keep following along with this on the whole head. Now we're on to the next layer of hair. Same thing, I put a layer of glue down and now we're just gonna layer the hair on top of the glue. And I'm gonna move up a bit because this hair is fairly thick so you uh, don't need to do it too thick on there. You don't need too many layers of hair or you're gonna be a big poof head of doll hair. And again, just keep falling along and I'll come back. So there we are. I don't want to set it down, really. Um, I'm going to let this dry for a couple days and then I'm going to finish it. But I don't want it to, um, I don't want the, to yank any of the hair out. So I'm just going to hang this up and let it dry for a few days and then I'll be back. Okay, so I started on this and then realized I wasn't filming but it doesn't matter. I'm just um, finishing putting the hair onto this girl. So it was the same thing as yesterday. We're just gluing the hair on in sections. Just keep gluing it down. Just keep adding a little glue. And on right by the root here, I want to wind this hair kind of up. like this and then flip it back over because I want it to look like a natural hairline and not like I glued hair on there. So I'm just going to do this and hopefully I can do this without making a mess. Gotta add a couple more little pieces of hair in there, and I think we can let this dry again. And then a little more tweaking probably on the hair, but pretty much should be done after this. I do not have my glue where I can do that. Okay, now we're just going to flip this hair back over. There we go. We may need to add a few more pieces of hair here, but we are going to let this dry first. So I am back with my special girl here, who I am 
falling in love with more and more every time I handle her. <laughs> so we're going to give her some eyelashes. And I've kind of wrapped her hair up because I'm going to end up dunking it in something or wrecking it somehow. So for eyelashes, all I use is just normal fake eyelashes. I try to get kind of thin ones, otherwise they're overwhelming. These are just some cheap, well they're cheap Taiwan eyelashes. They don't have to be good eyelashes because you're not really going to notice, but if you want to use good ones, use good ones. And just line them up and then trim them accordingly. So I'm going to trim that about right there. They do not have to be perfect. You don't want them too long though. And then I'm just going to dab um, the edges of her eyelids with glue and then glue them on. I'm just using the same white glue I normally use and then just you can either use um, you can use your needle you can use a needle I should say or whatever kind of little tool you have you can use a toothpick for this whatever um, you're the best at kind of painting with you can actually even use a paintbrush and I'm going to glue both sides and then I will stick them down and I think if you put on fake eyelashes you will probably be better at this and this and you know what? I think I'm putting this on backwards I am <laughs> try this again the right way You can tell I don't wear fake eyelashes. Oh, it's fake eyelash fail. Put them on the wrong way. There we go. Well, at least I noticed. Wait a minute, that doesn't look right. I have a feeling, again, once I said, if you put fake eyelashes on, you'll probably be a lot better at this than I am. And if you feel these are too long, you can trim them down a little bit. You don't have to leave them this gaudy. You can just take your scissors and just trim them a little. I'm not going to touch these till they're dry because I can see them coming off on me. I think I've already got that problem right there a little bit. I'll just poke that under the eyelid a little. Unlike your real eyelashes, you can poke these under the eye a little. And she's not going to complain. There, I'm going to do the other side here. Okay, we're going to let her dry. And we will be back tomorrow to see how she looks. Alright, so my girl here, her eyes look good and what I'm gonna do is just unwrap her hair and she's pretty much done as an ornament I may give her hair a little trim but I'm gonna edit this video and release it as an ornament but I'm going to make a body for her and I will put that in another section but it probably won't be for a month or two but we'll see how it goes because I've got Christmas to do and that's gonna be a big one for me so there you go there she is as an ornament. I have bonded with this head. <laughs> and yeah, I really just want to make her a body so she can be a whole a whole girl instead of just a head. Because I think she deserves a body. I absolutely love her. I think she's very special to me. <laughs> I hope you can make your own version of this beautiful little ornament. Please comment if you'd like me to make something else or if you want to rush on making the body, I can do that as well. 
I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I'll take a couple um, pictures of her hanging, although her hair is so long, I'm probably going to have some issues, but we'll see what we can do. And yeah, I just hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have, because this has been definitely my favorite project to date was this little head. <laughs> and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I enjoy all of you guys so much and thank you so much for watching.